I was up really, really early this morning and I had gone to bed way too late. Um, that's one of my problems. And when Sheldon's around, I don't pace myself well. So um, I had to go sleep for a bit. Uh, it's middle of the day, it's about 1.30 and I woke up to thunder. And so of course that means I have to go close up um, the barn. I don't want the puppies to all of a sudden get hit with anything. Apparently it's a severe storm um, that could cause big winds and hail. And it's, it's almost here. It's getting close. The clouds, you can see they're looming. But here's the thing. There are certain things that I have not planted into my garden yet. And I haven't planted them into my garden yet because I was waiting on specific things to get done. Like a garden box is supposed to be built along there. There are certain containers that I was supposed to have. And I don't have those things. And here comes another storm. And I'm just like, do you know what? That's it. I'm not capable of getting all these things. I can't just pick up and go to the store. I can't just start building something. So I'm just, I've decided this is going in the ground. It's not going into a container anymore. It's going in the ground. It needs to start growing and that's it. So <laughs> let's quickly do this before it pours on this. Finley is not impressed. It's like, lady, do you not hear that it's, the storm is coming. And I can always tell how serious the storm is because <laughs> Finley hates storms. It seems like dogs can sense it a little bit better than we can. Um, so. You see that little one right there? That's a little lady. She did not look like she was gonna make it. Koa's loving her. Okay. Closed up the barn as much as I could so that Koa could go in and out. And that's really, really good news that the puppy is still alive. <laughs> Man, it did not look good the last time we went in for feeding, um, but we're just gonna keep feeding and take special care of that. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but those dark clouds are coming in. It's cooling, it's cooling off. We've got some good thunderheads on those clouds. Wind's picking up. So we're on our way to getting a bit of a storm. It doesn't look like it's gonna be long. Uh, it might be a little violent, but it's not gonna be long. And then we can open everything up again.
Ja, var det? Här kvar. <laughs> so we're down to a sprinkle and uh, it was a nice warm rain definitely thankful for that uh, I did not want to go and water that garden again today uh, yesterday we spent so it would have been two days ago we planted the, the community garden and yesterday we Sorry, you might have missed me there. There we go. And yesterday, we spent the entire day, um, uh, the entire day watering. And so it was gonna be really nice if we could actually water, get the, get the rain coming. And I kind of find it quite amusing because we had, um, we haven't had rain in weeks. We've actually had it very dry, very hot for quite some time. And on the day we planted, it rained. And now two days later, it rained again. It's just perfect for what we need at this time. So I'm very, very thankful for that. This fill though, we got to the point of putting fill into the, the driveway, but we have not put um, gravel in. And when it rains, you can definitely tell there's a lot of clay in this fill, which would explain why I found it very difficult to actually scoop out with the bucket. I felt like I had to like ram in there. Ugh, I'm just gonna make a mess out of the greenhouse. Wash, wash my feet in the puddle. I'm not seeing water standing anywhere. In my garden, water is standing, but I do have my rows mounded. So I wonder if that is the reason why, but you can see it got moisture. That's pretty magnificent. Sun's gonna come out in three, <laughs> two, Oh, I'm going to have to count a lot slower. <laughs> and one and a half, one and three quarters. Man, that's beautiful. And just like that, the storm has passed us. It was a small storm, like I said. Just didn't know what we were going to expect. And you know what, that was actually something that as I was sitting there, well, standing there, I stood in the rain the whole entire time. I got drenched, you see that. It was soothing, actually, it was quite soothing. But it also had a bit of uh, a time for me to reflect on how rain is so much, or a storm is so much like life. You don't know how long it's going to be. You don't know how bad it's going to be. All you know is that all, all you can do is you can look at the signs. There's a storm coming. You can hear the thunder, like especially on our yard. You can hear the storm coming from a mile, two miles, three miles, four miles, five miles away. And, uh, 
yet you don't know if it's coming your direction. You don't know how big it is. You don't know what it's all going to do while it is here. But you do know there's a storm around. And I would say that for me, that's a great analogy for my life. I never know what's coming around the bend. I can sense things through my, um, th just through experiences that possibly something hard's gonna come up. But you will never know completely until it hits you and you don't know how bad it's gonna hit you. And all you can do is you can, you can lean on the Lord and trust that he knows and he's prepared you and he's gonna take you through it and you will get through to the other side. I don't know how anybody gets through life without that hope of just knowing you do have a greater strength that is helping you through every part of your life. Um, so I want to leave you with that, that you might have some limitations, but that does not mean you're limited. Storms can leave you with limitations. Storms can leave you, um, in a wreck physically or in a wreck mentally, emotionally, spiritually, but there is always hope. There is always hope. And that is to lean on God and allow him to take you through. And so I want to thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that you guys have a great day.